Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Patrick, and I'm here with uh, George Capos. And uh, I'm from Research Hub, where the concept is to create an application that breaks down the barriers to academic research. And as part of our um, watch strategy, we've essentially organized a couple of interviews with academics we think are doing really interesting work. And we're very lucky today to have George who uh, wrote a paper called An Empirical Analysis of Anonymity in Zcash. Just as a little bit of background, George is a doctoral researcher in the Information Security Group at the University of College in London. His research is funded by the EU Project Titanium, and he also works as a part-time contractor for Chainalysis. Uh, before that, he did a bachelor's in computer science and a master's in information security. And his research interests are related to security, privacy, and blockchain technologies with a special focus on cryptocurrencies. So uh, nice to have you, George. Thanks for coming. And thanks for everybody in the audience. If you guys have any questions uh, throughout the presentation, just feel free to uh, type them in the chat box and we'll get to them right after George finishes presenting about his paper. So uh, to get started, George, I just wanted to ask you kind of like, where did this interest come from? Like, how did you first get started in the privacy and blockchain space? So, first of all, thanks so much for the introduction, Patrick. Um, in terms of uh, my motivation behind my PhD, um, it was um, even before I started, while I was doing my undergrad, basically, I started uh, figuring out uh, what Bitcoin is and how it works. And it was extremely fascinating for me because I saw that there was there was an effort of having, you know, a very big leap in the whole financial system because we Bitcoin was all about... Um, decentralization and uh, privacy in the beginning. And I thought that this is completely different to what we have right now. So for me, it was a very interesting thing to begin with because I want to see how this thing will, know, will turn up to like, it will it be as, you know, as it was promoted in the beginning or it's gonna, it was gonna be something completely different. So basically I had a huge interest on uh, Bitcoin itself uh, before uh, I started. But because um, be before I started my PhD, there was already some work already done in Bitcoin and they, it, that showed that basically Bitcoin does not provide the anonymity actually uh, was promoting in the beginning. There were other technologies like Zcash we're gonna see and uh, other cryptocurrencies and other uh, layer two protocols that are built on top of Bitcoin that try to enhance it. And uh, there were so many things uh, going on that I really wanted to dive into the details and see how they work and you know try to break some try to make some you know better technologies and stuff like that um i also noticed that um, the rise of blockchain technologies came along with the rise of um, underground markets and the uh, illicit behavior that was you know done in the internet and i was I, uh, I thought in the beginning that these two you know technologies basically correlate a lot because the one enables the other so I wanted to see basically um, if Bitcoin that, you know, offers, you know, many perks, especially, you know, people that are very privacy advocates will, you know, uh, embrace uh, Bitcoin and other technologies. But on the other hand, we should think also the considerations of um, the technologies. It also enables like in the illicit behavior and so on. So basically for me, it was an extremely interesting, you know, topic to begin with. And I was, you know, I'm very happy that I made this choice for my PhD. Yeah, I mean, we're glad that you joined us too. I think it's fascinating how, uh, like you said, Bitcoin, the initial like most powerful use case was kind of illicit activity. And it had this kind of not inherent, but like unsaid promise of anonymity, but that turned out not to be true. So it's interesting yeah. how that might apply to other cryptocurrencies that kind of have that same sort of implication. So if you want to go ahead and uh, share your screen, we can get to the paper.